Hey, it's Kyle here, and after finishing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I do have a lot to talk about. And the game really did have some brilliant elements to it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the 10 things I believe the game got right. This one is actually a real positive, and it's the fact that weapons and gear are much rarer than in Origins and Odyssey. Because it really wound me up in those games how many weapons and gear items there were in the open world. But in Valhalla you really feel like you've earned that item and can use it, upgrade it and attach runes. This was brilliant and it actually felt like a cool moment finding gear in Valhalla. So yes it was a massive breath of fresh air. See crew customization was something I really wanted in Black Flag. So to have it in Valhalla was amazing. Customising your Jums Viking and inviting characters from Quest to join was really cool and a great addition to the series. Because you actually felt like you was fighting and raiding with real characters unlike in Black Flag and Rogue. This is for me one of the highlights of the game and a massive credit to Ubisoft for adding it to the game. This one's pretty similar to my previous point and it's that the shop owners actually have backstories and missions rather than just standing there like in most games. This really gave a human touch to the settlement. And I really enjoyed the missions with the likes of Petra because it gave that human touch and real sense of community. It showed that these shop owners have character and not many games achieve this. I also loved the fact that you really had to earn the abilities by finding them in the open world. This was a welcome addition for me because it encourages exploration. And the skill tree I really liked as well as it was a measure of your power and not just levels like in Origins and Odyssey. You could also reset the skill tree as well which was really cool and suited many different playstyles. The flighting, I absolutely loved the flighting. It was a nice little break from all the blood and gore and some of them were very amusing like the mute monk one. The flighting characters were pretty amusing also, even the one who just wanted to flirt. And of course this boosted your charm which helped you in certain missions over the course of the game. So it was worth doing them and one of my favourite parts of the game. Now I was hoping he would make a full return to the series but what we got in Valhalla was promising. The voice recordings were incredible and to hear his voice again brought back so many memories. He then made an appearance as a silhouette towards the end of the game in the grey speaking with Layla about looking at all the possible timelines to try and save the world. And I was really hoping for more at this point. But it's promising and I believe a step in the right direction for the series. I mean he has to return properly, surely. Although there were so many of them, I did really enjoy some of the memory corridors after killing the target. The speeches the targets gave were well performed, Odin's input was very interesting and Eivor's choice of words were great also. I was also impressed by the cinematography and the effects and I'm so glad they are back. I love a good humorous mission and there were plenty in Valhalla. The one that stands out the most for me is when you're with Petra trying to find her brother but you're overtaken by those funny mushrooms. This was hilarious and a ton of fun. One of my favourite moments in the game it has to be said. There were also some brilliant easter eggs in there too like the prodigy band. When he shouted smack my bishop after killing the bishop that got me let me tell you. Fair play to whoever put that in the game. What Valhalla did really well was adding callbacks to some of the previous AC games. Like the letter from Bayek, that was a really nice touch, and a tad emotional I must admit. You also had the AC Freed Temple which Eivor encountered along with the Apple of Eden. And I noticed a note in the modern day speculating if Edward Kenway knew of the Hidden One Hyphen, as he named his son Hyphen. These are things that really make a difference and matter to long time fans of the series. So I really enjoyed some of those elements of Valhalla and want more in the future.
Now I chose the option of either male or female and it turns out I had female Ava for the Viking era and male Eivor for the Asgard era. I know you could switch but I thought I'd just leave it. And although I didn't really like the Asgard parts I thought male Eivor performed really well and he felt like the natural one to play as in Asgard. As for female Eivor I really did love her. Her wit, charm and forwardness was a joy to play as throughout. Cecile Stenspiel performed amazingly and massive credit to her for that. Well that is a wrap guys, there are many great things about Assassin's Creed Valhalla I'm sure you will agree. But there are some that are not so great so do make sure to check out my video on the 10 things Valhalla got wrong. Anyway don't forget to like, subscribe and see you soon.